prove that the roots of the equation kx squared plus 3 minus 2k squared times x minus 6k is equal to 0 are real for all k values that are an element of the real number set. Express these roots in terms of k. So we want to show that the roots of the equation are real. So we need to use b squared minus 4ac in order to prove that the roots are real. So if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, then the square root of b squared minus 4ac is a positive real number. This means the equation has two distinct real roots, so two different real roots. So we're going to label our equation a, b and c. So k is going to be a because it's stuck onto the x squared. 3 minus 2k squared is going to be b because it's stuck onto the x. And minus 6k is going to be c because it is left over at the end. It's a constant, even though it has a k involved, in terms of x, it's a constant. So then what we do is we substitute a, b and c into our formula, b squared minus 4ac. So we swap the b for 3 minus 2k squared, and we square it. We bring down the minus and the 4. We swap the a for k with brackets around it, and we swap the c for minus 6k with brackets around it. So we have 3 minus 2k squared, and all of this is squared, minus 4 times k times minus 6k. So we're going to work this out over here. So 3 minus 2k squared squared is really 3 minus 2k squared multiplied by 3 minus 2k squared. I'm going to bring down the 3, stick on the second set of brackets, bring down the minus 2k squared, stick on the second set of brackets. 3 by 3 is 9, 3 by minus 2k squared is minus 6k squared, minus 2k squared by 3 is minus 6k squared, and minus 2k squared by minus 2k squared is going to be plus 4k to the power of 4. I'm going to bring down the 9, minus 6k squared, minus 6k squared is minus 12k squared, and then I bring down the plus 4k to the power of 4. So this becomes this. So I have 9 minus 12k squared plus 4k to the power of 4. So then I have to work out this. So I have minus by a plus by a minus, which gives me a plus. And then I have 4 by 6 is 24, and k by k is k squared. So I have plus 24k squared. So then I'm going to simplify. So I'm going to bring down the 4k to the power of 4. And then minus 12k squared plus 24k squared is plus 12k squared. And then I'm going to bring down the 9, and this is all equal to 0. So now I need to factorise. So I'm going to bring down the 4k to the power of 4. I'm going to break up 12k squared to be 6k squared plus 6k squared, and I'm going to bring down the plus 9. So now I'm going to factorise my first two terms, which are 4k to the power of 4 and 6k squared. So I'm going to take out 2k squared as a common factor, and 2k squared into 4k to the power of 4 leaves me with 2k squared, and 2k squared into 6k squared leaves me with 3. Then I'm going to factorise my last two factors. So I'm going to take out 3 as my highest common factor, and 3 into 6k squared leaves me with 2k squared, and 3 into 9 leaves me with 3. So I see I have the same thing in each bracket, 2k squared plus 3. So that's my first factor. And then I bring down the 2k squared and the plus 3. And since I have the same thing inside both brackets, 2k squared plus 3 times 2k squared plus 3, I can simplify this to be 2k squared plus 3 squared. 
So this is definitely going to be greater than zero because no matter what value we would substitute in place of the k, remember k is an element of the real number set, so it can be positive, negative, fraction, decimal, doesn't matter what it is, whatever we substitute in place of the k, it's going to end up being squared, so it's definitely going to be positive, it's definitely going to be greater than zero because anything squared will be positive. Therefore, the roots are going to be real, we have real roots. So we have proved that the roots of this equation are real for all k values and element of the real number set. And now we need to express these roots in terms of k. So we're going to use the minus b formula or the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So we've already worked out b squared minus 4ac. We worked it out to be this. So we just straight away put that in underneath the root. The b, we're going to swap for 3 minus 2k squared. So it's going to be minus multiplied by 3 minus 2k squared. Then bring down the plus minus. Then bring down the square root. And we already have this underneath the square root. And that's all divided by 2 times a. And a is k. So it's going to be divided by 2k. So the square root and the squared part will cancel out. Minus by 3 is minus 3. Minus by minus 2k squared is plus 2k squared. And we're going to bring down the plus here. And bring down the 2k squared plus 3. And on the other side we're going to bring down the minus instead. And still have the 2k squared minus 3. Make sure that this is a minus at the back here, because a minus by a plus is a minus. So then just focusing on the left hand side where we brought down the plus, minus 3 plus 3 will cancel. And 2k squared plus 2k squared is going to be 4k squared, and that's all over 2k. And 2k squared divided by 2k will leave us with 2k. And then on the right hand side where we brought down the minus, plus 2k squared and minus 2k squared will cancel. And minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6 and that's all over 2k. And minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3. And 2k divided by 2 is k, so we get minus 3 over k. So we have expressed the roots in terms of k.